Me on your boy. Why, hello, everybody. As you can see, I am in sad, sad spirits because Twilight Tower Defense is boring. Okay, not really. Twilight Tower Defense just has a lot of problems with it at the moment, and I wanted to kind of talk about it. So, for those unaware, Twilight Tower Defense has been slapping us with updates left, right, center, in the face, all over the place. And just like they've been slapping us all over the place, the updates have been all over the place. We got mounts. Ooh, so cool, but it's a little too late for that, okay? Mr. Hampy is not happy about that, okay? I, the hamster, am not happy about that. So, why am I not happy? Well, it's simple. Tony Tower Defense keeps adding stuff into the game that is just not good. Like, they keep adding in units without fixing the already established units. We have event maps that don't get to stay and just are constantly on rotation. We have no reason to really play the game or do anything with the maps or basic maps. We get nothing for playing. Like, some coins is not enough incentive. And I thought I would draw a bit of a comparison against one of the best tower defense games, Balloons. So, a lot of people don't know this, but in Balloons Tower Defense, at least in the 6th version of the game, there is levels, there's achievements. Whenever you beat a map, there's a little badge near it which shows, hey look, I beat that map, I'm a strong man. And then that unlocks other modes for that map. Like imagine you'd start off on easy, you had to beat medium, and then you beat hard, and then you beat nightmare, and then you unlocked abysmal mode, or something like that. And then each map had their own Ohio mode, something like that. It'd be cool, but no. Then you can also upgrade your monkey, so like imagine being able to start off on like level 1 of a unit, only having the first level to unlock, and then you can gradually unlock level 5 or the higher ones, and that would be interesting, because then you'd actually have to play with the unit to actually unlock the unit, instead of just, oh I bought the unit, and now the unit's as good as it's ever going to be, and it's never going to get any better. There's also cosmetics, which lets you change visually your monkey, so like that'd be cool to change the color of our units, or give him like, I don't know, a Halloween suit for Halloween. There's also special packs powers and there's knowledge trees which means you can unlock certain abilities like imagine being able to unlock the ability to place down a barrier or you'll unlock slowing effects that are 10 percent better i don't know it's just super disappointing they've been adding in units constantly which just keep bloating the game without fixing the units we already have like corrupted i don't know if they've been talking about it but corrupted can't be used with the dj even though they said they were going to go back and add support for the older units for the dj tv man they never did obviously i know it's unfair to compare like balloons tower defense to toilet tower defense they're completely different games but it's still the idea that it doesn't have to be this way like there's so many options to pull from they could easily just add special modes to the maps we already have like no one's asking them to make 50,000 new maps or 10 billion new units with fancy different versions and outfits we're just asking for a little bit of something occasionally that's interesting and different but they don't like there's no reason for anyone to play desert map now or play ohio mode really other than just wanting to play that mode but yeah that's all i really have let me know your opinions in the comments i'm very curious to see if people agree with me or disagree with me obviously there's going to be some people that are just like barry you're bad the game's better than it's ever been but you are wrong <laughs> it's just a fact you're wrong so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys